Today, we're going to talk about how to make money online, lesson one, plus we're going to break down all the ways, well, some of the ways that you can make money online. There's a lot of people who are confused, really, really confused when you say, hey, let's make money online. Let's go ahead and hold on. Start blowing up, right? Making money. Well, there's a lot of ways I've made money online over the years, and I continue to make money online that way, but many people do not seem to understand that. So we're going to jump into it. Hey, this is Glendon Cameron, founder of Hustlers Kung Fu, the beginning launch pad for baby hustlers, people who want to learn how to make money, people who are interested in applying themselves and developing wealth. Now, I'm going to name a few things for you that you already know, but you're not really familiar with. Number one, YouTube. Number two, blogging. Number three, affiliate marketing. Number four, self-publishing. Number five, Facebook. Number six, Instagram. Number seven, providing a service Number eight, selling something. Number nine, creating an app. Now, these are not limited ways to make money online, but these are the majority of the ways for people to make money online. This is where most people make line. And I'm going to discuss some of the things that I did to make money online. And I'm going to give you, I'm going to peel back the, the curtain and show you just how hard it is. All right, primary way that I make money on YouTube. Uh, I've got, the, the stream was messing up, so I can't show you, but I make a little coin from YouTube. Not a lot, not even enough to live on, but I do make a little coin. Now, making YouTube money is very, very challenging. You're gonna put out, you're gonna do stuff, you're going to invest in equipment, long before you get income back. That's what's going to happen. And I mean, you know, I've tried to tell people this. I have courses on it. I have books on it. But the thing is, if you create a YouTube channel, you're going to work minimum three to four months, minimum, before you see a return and the return's not going to be that big. More than likely, you're going to work a year or two before you can really start to make some YouTube money. Uh, number two, blogging. I kind of blog now. I have hustlerskungfu.com. I'm just putting some stories up there. But I don't blog the way that I used to blog. Blogging is you create content. You get enough traffic that somebody wants to pay you to put ads on your blog. That's how you make money, blogging. Affiliate marketing. You market someone else's stuff. You go ahead and say, look, I'm going to sell your thing, uh, your widget, your, your whatever. I'm going to sell it. I'm going to market it. And then I'm going to get a piece of the action. That's affiliate marketing. Self-publishing. You put up a book on Amazon, iTunes, uh, various other things. And I forgot number 10. I'll write this down. I will not tell you because we're not there yet, but I will write this down because I forgot about this because I'm on the pod. Uh, so I'm going to be doing that. Okay, now back to self-publishing. You, you have several ways that you can make money self-publishing. I self-published my first book. That's how I got started. It was... Once again, it's one of those things that is a lot of hard work and it doesn't, let's see, how can I say it? it? It doesn't give you immediate gratification. Now, hold on a minute. I'm going to get rid of, what the hell? Alrighty then. I don't know what's going on with that. Let's just get rid of that. <laughs> I don't know. It's some crazy stuff that's going on with the live stream. But self-publishing is really, really challenging. It's hard to make money. You can make money, but it's it's hard. 
there is something really strange going on with uh, YouTube at the moment because I'm trying to. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It will, oh, for, just forget it. Uh, they'll they'll get over here some other way. Now, let's go with Facebook. Facebook is kind of like YouTube, but it's not like YouTube. You just can get on Facebook if you're funny or you, you have a soapbox sub subject that you want to talk about. You can make money. It's pretty much you develop a following, then you put your stuff out there and people can pay you for, for ads or people can place ads in your content. There's a lot of different ways that you can make money with the YouTube business model. Okay, then you have Instagram. The gram is very interesting. This is how you make money with Instagram. Number one, you can have a develop a following, sell ads, or do promoted posts. And you can do that with YouTube, you could do that with Facebook. And the promoted post is someone like me, a media buyer, would go and say, look, I'll give you $50 for this post. I'll give you $150. I'll give you $200. I'll give you $1,000. I'll give you $1,500 for this post. And that's how you can make money with Instagram. But once again, you have to build a following, which is going to take three months, four months, five months, six months, two years, four years, five years, six years. So that's how that works. Then you have providing a service something else that I do I provide consulting services meaning that you can use the internet to for lead generation so that's what I do and then sell something eBay Amazon YouTube Instagram Facebook there are so many ways that you this platform Poshmark uh, there, there's so many platforms that you can sell something on Gumroad so that's another way that you can make money online and then number nine creating the app which is very challenging if you don't know how to code that's pretty much out the way and then number 10 podcasting okay so those are the 10 ways and just for the new folks who popped up in here we have youtube we have blogging we have affiliate marketing self-publishing facebook instagram providing a service selling something creating an app and podcasting typically if someone's going to make money from the internet, it's going to be one of those 10 things. Typically, there are other ways, but you have to have a, you have to have that coin, right? You have to have a lot of money. You, you, you got to be heavy to play those games. So let, let's just take apart YouTube. YouTube is great, but YouTube is an exercise in delayed gratification. It just is. Uh, I've gone through three different renditions of YouTube. Right now, YouTube is loving me. I don't know if you, I've noticed you've noticed that a lot of stuff has increased, but I'm driving it a little differently than other YouTubers. Uh, blogging. Um, many people want to make money without showing their face, without getting their hands dirty. They just want to make money. Now, here is the thing. If you haven't noticed, everybody's becoming a brand. Some people don't want to be a brand. Some people don't want to show their face. But it is getting harder and harder for you to not show your face and, quote, build a brand on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, um, Snapchat, all this other stuff. Twitter It's coming very, very hard. It's becoming very, very difficult for you not to show your face and that's what a lot of people want well they don't want to show their face they want to make money they want to have bread and just you know live their lives right well it's not happening and one of the reasons is everybody's nosy everybody wants to see who you are what you're doing and how you are making money now affiliate marketing now affiliate marketing is great you don't have to show your face you can Run a website in affiliate marketing. There's, you know, check out the affiliate marketing YouTube channels. There's so many ways to make money with affiliate marketing. There's so many ways. I do. Actually, I have no affiliate marketing right now. I've done affiliate marketing, but 
I like creating my own stuff. It's not either good or bad. It's just I like creating my own stuff. And, you know, Facebook. Facebook is full of opportunities. Facebook just spent a billion dollars. Yes, billion with a capital B on content for Facebook. But here's the thing. You had to be in the content ecosystem to get some of those billions. Meaning you had to be on Facebook. You had to be on YouTube. You had to be on Instagram. You had to be on uh, Snapchat. You already had to have a following before you could even get part of that money. So the lesson from that is to get started doing something. Do not wait. Get started doing something. Whatever it is. Because if you're sitting and you're waiting until that magical, majestical moment, it is never going to come. It is never going to happen. All right. So with the self-publishing, lots of money there. And it's not just Amazon or iTunes. It's your own self-published. All right. With my my online courses, they're self-published. Get it? I am creating my own courses self-published that's what i'm doing i'm I'm actually going to break down some stuff tonight and then you got the facebook i talked about that the instagram like i said instagram is really really interesting and providing a service what you can do is there's something that someone needs on the internet someone needs it someone wants it someone will pay you for it whatever that may be I provide consulting. I provide upper level consulting. I provide high end consulting. And I'll tell you about that. Uh, I don't really want to talk to anyone for a thousand bucks an hour. I I really like and enjoy the long term consulting packages at 40, 50, 100,000 because at a, at a minimum, I'm going to keep that client three months. And that's $150,000 a year, three months. Now, with this, this is I am not the consultant that I only get on the phone with you for like two or three hours a week and I do nothing. No, I'm like on the phone every day. I'm doing stuff. I'm working weekends. That is part of how this thing goes. So there's something you should be aware of because there are many people out there who are selling. You could be this consultant and you can, you know, you're charging these people a lot of money and you're not providing any services. I mean, that's the reality of it. And some people will pay, but at some point, that's going to be played. It's just going to be played. I'm just letting you know. And then creating an app or sell something. Once again, I, I sell my courses. Because, you know, if we, if we go to it, I use YouTube. Uh, not too much blogging, but I do YouTube self-publishing. Uh, seven, providing a service. Eight, selling something. So I do out of the 10 ways to make money online, I do four because there's a lot of overlap. And then there is some craziness, right, that goes with this. But if you want to make money online, you need to learn to talk and speak the language of making money online. It's not just one thing because people go, I want to make money online. I want to make money online. Right. But they don't really know what they want to do. You got to start with something. You you cannot continue to just play around with, I want to make money on mine. And also, and hear me, and hear me loudly, and hear me clearly, you need to have some designation in mind. De- designation is there's something that you want to do, that you want to bring onto the line. You don't just want to sit back and lay in. Well, some of you do. Some of you just want to be in the cut laying back, collecting money, and that could work. That could work, but how long is it going to work? Uh, how long is it going to be relevant? How long is it going to be hot? How long is it going to really make money? Because when you lay back in the cut and you do that kind of stuff, it makes money, but temporarily. So, I'll get up into the chat room because, like I said, I was trying to do all kinds of stuff and it was crazy. Jen Sweeto, I'm in this thing, okay? Nicki Minaj, Holla Shay from Detroit. What's up, JT Top, JK Tyler, Archangel3579, what's going on? What's up, Gail? What's up, Intuition? What's up, Super Say TV? 
Uh, John Francis, I've learned that it's not as easy as what people think. <laughs> you have to be dedicated no matter what you pick. 100% true. You got to be dedicated to the stuff. It's not just going to come up and jump you. But I mean, that that's the thing. You got to be dedicated. So that's a good comment. Broderick, it, but if it's hard, it's good, right? Less competition. Mm, I don't know about that. Because there's different layers and tiers to this thing. It's not just one static level. Like, let's go with YouTube. You can make money strictly from AdSense. There are some people who make hundreds of thousand dollars per month strictly from AdSense. I use YouTube as a lead generation device. Uh, there are other people who use YouTube to get speaking engagements. Uh, there, there's so many ways you can do this. So some level of dedication and knowing where you want to end up is going to be really, really important. Louis DeSell, I respect every YouTuber who managed to stay consistent with uploading content on their channel. I have a passion for it, but I can't stay focused on it. It is what it is, Louis. It is what it is. Jacob, peace. What's going on? Lamote, what's up? T Stamps. I want to make money blog, but it's a beast unless you have a big enough bucket to sell. And as Glendon mentions, take major discipline to building up your social marketing. Now, here's one of the things, and let's go on this with T Stamp. Everybody is trying to build a blog and they're trying to build it really, really quickly so they can get paid quickly. I, in 2009, started building this channel in August 6th, but I started planning this channel in July. August 6th, September 6th, October 6th, October 21st, I dropped the first version of the book, I was doing like 500 bucks a month. Then November, I kind of got up to $800 a month. Then December, I got up to 800 almost 900 bucks a month. Then January pop rolled around, and then I started to do close to 15 2000 a month, which was cool because I was living on 1500 So I was like, okay, but let's look at that. September, October, November, December, January, five months five months where I wasn't making a lot of money and I was working full time. Now, once again, you know, those of you who know my story, I it came out of the storage auction business. I had a shit ton, shit ton of money in the bank. So I was able to fund my dream. Everybody's not in that situation. So you can actually double or quadruple how long it's going to take you to start because I was able to do this full time. And I don't really, and I need to stress that. I was able to do it because I didn't have small children. I didn't have crazy bills. I had no bills. All I had was space and opportunity. So I could do that, whereas many of you cannot. And I'm not trying to say, you know, I'm better than you. It's just the reality of it. What's up? Roll time. What's going? Let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. It, it jumped. This thing is so sensitive. Um, all right. Here we go. Making sense. Thinking billions. What's up from Connecticut? All right, Raleigh. Latonya Jackson, what's up? Zolas, good afternoon. Uh, Demetrius Jackson, how do you feel about Shopify dropshipping? Shopify dropshipping is selling something. Now, here's the thing. We live in this crazy world, right? How many of you want to wait two to three weeks for your package? See, that this is the thing. Like, I hear that it works. I haven't done it, so I don't know if it doesn't work. But I know how customers are. And I've sold thousands and thousands of things online. And when that shipping is super quick, they're happy. When that shipping takes months or weeks, they get a little cranky. Unless, you know, it, let's say it's under 20 bucks. Maybe. I don't know. I've never ordered from one of these drop shipping sites. So, try it. That would be my advice to you. Try it. See how it works for you. Seeing clearly, sure thing. What's up, Gabran? Uh, Monica, what's the best way to get consistent sales on on eBay? Well, I know it's going to sound really strange. List more. If list more, I mean, if you're getting twenty sales a day and you're listing a hundred things, then you need to list two hundred things to get forty sales a day. And you need to list 300 things to get 
um, 120 things today. You you need to list more. Archangel, yes, I'm trying to find my niche. How can you research and market for the internet? Okay, here's for my thing. Pick some. Um, Archangel 3579, pick some. If it doesn't work out, pick something else. If that doesn't work out, pick something else. If that doesn't work out, pick, out, pick something else. Because in your mind, you're going, I'm wasting time, right? No, you're not. You are not wasting time. You are figuring stuff out. And the lessons from those failures will carry forward to the next thing. So pick some. Uh, seeing clearly. May have missed it, but you have touched on traffic generation on uh, traffic generation online business. What do you mean by that? Because, you know, this is something that we need to drill down. Uh, let's see. I'm in college. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's see. I'm in college trying to run my robotic startup for my mom, and my mom got panicked about me starting a startup, especially when I told that FedEx got interested in my company. Um, just keep doing your thing. I would definitely run it around my mom's back. Let's see. I've noticed that when you go live, your subscribers go up. Does this new YouTube algorithm support live broadcasting for increasing subscribers? I don't know. Um, I have no clue. Do you have advice for dealing with family and friends who troll you for starting the business? Uh, keep them out your business. Don't tell them nothing. Just say it's between me and the, and the streets. I'm serious. Keep your family out of your business. Gail Lawton. Gail Lawton, I'm a seamstress. What would you recommend for someone to start showing their products? What do you mean? Christian Anderson. I'm a fitness if if I'm a fitness pro who has who has a niche in fat loss industry and want to make money online, where do I start? Build a website, YouTube, and create a product. All of that above. Let's see, where am I with this? Um because my battery's gonna go. All right. It's not telling me anything. All right. Well, just letting you know the battery may go because uh, the phone wasn't charged up. Long runner. Why did you get out of the storage auction business? I got sick. My partner was diagnosed with cancer. That's why I got out. I really didn't get out. It got rid of me. Do you have a video on how to do market research? Yeah, tons of them. Watch them. What's up, Glenn? I love your wisdom and straight talk. All right, Michael. I appreciate you. True. I just want to be a little bit more strategic. Uh, forget strategy. Start doing shit. Because, see, here's the thing. You guys are wasting time. You're wasting a lot of time by trying to be strategic. Uh, Desmond, what's a great book on the process of selling with Amazon and Facebook? I don't know. Tim Oliver, what are your thoughts about digital? Uh, we're not talking about Bitcoin. That is a bubble. Roscoe. Roscoe Gino, so you, so you got to pick some. Life is a journey, not a destination, so you can't be afraid to make mistakes. True. Uh, let's see. Any advice on how to become a more consistent plan out on schedule? Just do it. Uh, go to niche shacks to find possible niche markets in your area. John Francis. Okay, cool. What ways do you drive traffic to your business? YouTube. All right, Garan's putting his number out there. Baruch, what's going on? So essentially, that's just that's just the way that you can make money. And like this is going to be part one because there will be other things that will be going on. Because essentially, I'm just dropping the ten ways that you can make money, right? And part of making money is this journey into exploring stuff. And it's about getting your feet wet, getting some hustle going, and understanding that you're not going to figure it out all in one fell swoop. And that's what many people are trying to do. They're trying to figure out all of this stuff. And then they're like, huh, how is this going to work? How am I going to make so much money? And they're trying to do it so quickly. It's not going to work. And, you know, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it's not going to work very quickly. But you can, in time, make a lot of money. You can. It's just going to take you some time. Yeah, because the thing is, 
like I said, um, there's so many ways to make money, and many people are conflating that making money online is just this one thing. When this, I listed the ten main ways. It's probably like thirty. You know, once again, YouTube, blogging, affiliate marketing, self-publishing, Facebook, Instagram, providing a service, selling something, creating an app, and podcasting. That's the gist of it, right? But there's probably like 30 because as you start to get into the, the other things like venture capital where you borrow a bunch of – well, you don't actually borrow money. You sell part of your company to someone who has a lot of money, and everyone hopes that it works out. Uh, let's see. Sub Jenny, would you recommend a hustle camp or 30 days to 1500 for starting people from zero? No skills, no business experience, living paycheck to paycheck. Old Acryl Bay. If you get Hustle Camp, you get 30 days to 1500 So there's two ways you can get that. You can do it for 700 bucks, which is, you know, the Hustlers, you know, Hustlers Weekend Package, or you can do Hustle Camp for 1350 Now, I'm, I'm be really aware of this because I know my battery's probably going to go in a minute. So um, just for those of you who want help, join Hustle Camp, or you can get the Weekend Hustle, weekend hustle School. And we can point you in the right direction. Well, I'm not going to talk too much about that. I'm going to talk about starting from the beginning. Let's let's go with um, old Aquil Bay. Many of you don't have any any skills on doing anything online. That's not a knock. That's just fact. Now, if you want to start, here's the thing. And let me go ahead and dip into Hustle Camp a little bit. Hustle Camp is pretty much giving you a foundation for your life. It's not just for selling online. Because here's the thing. You get people who sell online and then they go ahead and they make a lot of money. But they don't learn how to manage that money, right? Then next thing you know, they're broke. And then what they did, because this thing changes all the time. Making money online, it consistently changes. It changes. YouTube, I I was most of this year I started working back on this YouTube channel July. Most of this year I was getting like 500 subscribers, not a lot of views, like I think all yeah. End of July I started working on this. So this is August and September that I've been really focused on it because I knew what to do, but I was so busy with the consulting business, I didn't have time. But, you know, I got two customers finished up, then I had more time. So you got to stay with this. It's not like I learn it, I said it, and I forget it. No, that's not going to happen. You're always going to have to keep your eye on something, and that's why I tend to stay with YouTube because, one, and this is another reason I stay with YouTube, Facebook is temporary. Instagram, temporary. Instagram has a little pull, but it's not like YouTube, where if someone is searching for something, they'll come in and they'll find it. But it took me August, September, it took me like two months to get the channel right again, right? And let's say July, let's say I started in July. It took three months to get the channel right. And I know what I'm doing, right? But the thing is, I didn't have time or the bandwidth to do it. So that's just something else you should be really aware of. Uh, Christian Anderson, with, with all the different fitness channels on YouTube, how do I set myself apart and build my own audience? Figure it out. You're going to have to start that channel, and you're going to have to start figuring some stuff out. Uh, the legendary Batusa8185, do you have any insights about search engine optimization? Once again, my advice to you is to start a website and start to delve into search engine optimization. See, many of you are looking for advice, right? You're looking for someone to say, hey, go here, do this. Well, I could tell you that and I could be on point and then three months later it changes. Then you got to, then you're coming back to me like, hey, and I'm like, no, 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 no. The first one's free. Oh, now you're an asshole. You don't want to help someone out for free, man. I already did. I'm not in that business. So you got to go out and do something. Jacob, is this for people who just started in Hustle Camp? What are you talking about? Uh, Mark the money management key. I've touched way, I've touched way too much of it and not held on to it. It's 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 deep, man. It's deep. 
Oh, there's more changes. Um, there's some people right now in one of the YouTube groups I'm in that's crying the blues saying that uh, their views have gone down. Their views have been cut 50%. I know why their views are cut 50%, but I ain't saying anything because they got to figure that out. Sure thing, Archangel. Yeah, because the thing is, and I'm going to go in a second, is you got to explore. And you probably won't get it right the first time. You probably won't get it right the second time. But if you keep on it, you can get it right. Uh, Jacob, where should we start with your programs? There's Weekend Hustle Camp. I mean, all right, we, the Weekend Hustle School. And then there's Hustle Camp. Those, that's really it. And then there is, um, yeah, that's it. Those are, you know, just pick from those two. Now, one of the things with making money online, and a lot, no one will tell you this, is have you ever noticed how everyone that does really well on Amazon eventually starts consulting and selling on Amazon? I mean, selling Amazon how-to courses? That right now is probably the hottest thing next to the Shopify um, training method, I'm going to say. Uh, that, that's, that's just like really, really crazy. Uh, General Frank, the guess you have another day knows this stuff. I hope you do a part two making money online like Africa is not as hard. Um, he said he would come back. Um, we're going to be going out to a conference in October. He said he'll be there. Um, I'm trying to, I need to call her. The chick had a grow house, right? And I, I was like, hey, um, hopefully I can get that done next week. Because, you know, we already had him on. That was a, that was a really good show. And then I'm going to look for some more because she says she'd do it. So we'll see. All right. For those of you who are looking for help, check out Hustle Camp. Links below. It's $13.50. Or you can do the prepayment plan. And if you don't really need all that, you can do Weekend Hustle School. Links below as well. Uh, no, I don't have a mastermind group. You funny lone lone runner. Yeah, Victoria, they're all over the place. I mean, it's um, it's really interesting. Uh, Leverage Interactive Marketing LLC. The person who asked you about searching the position can reach out to my company. By the way, great channel, Glenn, and keep it going. There you go. All right, so I'll catch you guys later. You have fun. Be sure to subscribe, and be sure to like this video.